Mario Maker 2 gives us so many options to make some incredible levels, and one of the things that we've been really wanting was a boss maker and something to make our bosses stand out compared to other people's levels. And right now, people come up with all types of crazy things by creating just weird contraptions out of blocks that you had to hit a specific part of, or just completely crazy enemy stacks. They're giant enemies stacked on top of each other. It's just crazy what people come up with, but it would be really cool to obviously have a full-fledged boss maker. And I just made a video on this a couple of weeks ago you guys can check it out at the end card above but today's video is a little bit different and expanding on that quite a bit so on the last video I kind of came up with a boss pack of different bosses throughout the series that would be really cool to see in Mario Maker 2 and one of those that were very interesting was the Lord of Lightning from Super Mario Odyssey and what made this one super interesting is the way the boss was on the stage instead of being on the stage you know horizontally and walking with Mario on the main terrain I thought it would be really cool for him to be a threat from the background and eventually putting his head on the main stage allowing Mario to slam on it and this actually prompted some really cool ideas if what if we were able to make bosses that appeared not only on the main ground but the background and the foreground well today I'll be talking about how that's gonna work and what bosses would make the cut and how cool this would be to be added within Mario Maker 2 now before we get started this year I want to really try to grow this membership so first off I want to start off by saying thank you to the recent members and the longtime members thank you to Daniel Castle Shadow Kim Charika and James Wardlaw. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to become a member, it's super simple. Just hit join right beside the subscribe button. It's extremely cheap for a low price. You guys can sit here, join me, get early ideas for new videos, and also get to play with me when I go live and get your name highlighted in the chat with, of course, special emojis as well. It's a lot of stuff for a small price, so feel free to check it out. And also, let's do a thing today. If you guys aren't joining the membership, let's see how many we can get to subscribe to this video today. Let's break a record. Let's do something crazy but thank you so much for tuning in and let's get on to the video now the thing that's actually super crazy to me and i'll probably have its own video too is the fact that there's background elements in the 3d world theme but there's only like three of them seriously there's like three total and it's just like why aren't there more to interact with in the background or even the foreground like for instance we do have these cages that we can put up and that allows mario as cat mario to climb up them and climb around them which is really cool it actually has mario interacting with the background now we could obviously do this with super mario world which was a lot of fun to have that you know in an earlier game like that but still it's just another one that i wanted to bring up real quick but then we have meowser an actual boss enemy that is able to use the foreground and the background and even the platform kind of that you're standing on in unique ways for instance when he falls down he can simply just climb back up the platform that you're on which is really cool he can jump off in the foreground he can fly through the background spinning fireballs he can do all kinds of things that are on different planes of this actual mario maker that we can't see and i would love for us to be able to work with those different planes a lot more and one of the things i want to work with them with is bosses because meowser is actually a really cool boss that utilizes those different planes and there's really not any other ones that do that they stay on the main platform with mario the one other thing Nintendo gave us to actually utilize the background was these bonsai bill launchers, which is really cool. It shoots bonsai bills from the background, and you gotta wait for it to actually reach the foreground for you to interact with it. And there's so many cool things you can do with these bullet bills, and I wish there was more enemies and more objects and even more bosses that we could do this with. And today, I'm just focusing on bosses, because if we could have a boss maker with all these cool bosses from past Mario games, we could have some really cool ones that actually utilizes the background in a big way. So let's talk about what bosses we could use in a boss pack that would come this way. So the first ones I want to talk about is from Yoshi's Island, because a lot of the bosses are actually a lot like this. Let's take the giant Mecha Bowser from Yoshi Safari for instance this giant robot Bowser in the background shooting things at you and maybe you could throw things back at it now of course for this mode to work we'd have to be able to throw things back at it or it just wouldn't work so maybe the little you know cannon box launcher that we have on our heads in the 3d world theme we could actually turn and face the background in specific bosses that would be really cool and you could shoot them at this giant robot Bowser breaking it parts apart and then obviously attacking him himself Throughout the rest of the Yoshi's Island franchise, we either have giant baby Bowser or actual Bowser coming in to fight Yoshi and the babies. So, I thought, what if you could just add them, where they're chasing you down from the background, you have to keep throwing things at them or shooting them with cannonballs in order to knock them backwards as they keep trying to rush you. It would kind of add that urgency, and if they do hit the foreground or hit the platform that you're on, 
it'll eventually break and, you know, the level's over, you know, you lost. Now moving away from Baby Bowser, what if we had a regular Giant Bowser pack? We've seen Bowser get huge in multiple different games, especially the new Super Mario Brothers games, and of course Super Mario Galaxy 2, where he's just massive, and I would love to see a Giant Bowser in the background just trying to hit Mario with different claw swipes, and you have to throw things at his hands, or then eventually his head falls over and you can hit his head. That would be pretty neat. You could also customize Bowser, maybe give him a fire flower and he turns crazy with fire attacks, like fireballs and even breathes fire across the main line of the stage where you have to jump over it back and forth. And maybe you can even make him a dry Bowser alternate, which would be really cool. And all the fire and, you know, uh, you know, special ability attacks will turn blue like it does in his actual games. I think this would just look really cool and be an even more customizable way to make Bowser unique. Some more great examples is the boss battle, believe it or not, from Super Princess Peach, where Bowser's actually perfectly in the background with his hands on the stage, pretty much exactly the way I'm describing how this will look. Another time this actually happens very similar is, believe it or not, a Paper Mario game. Paper Mario Sticker Star for the Nintendo 3DS actually has Bowser at the very end of the game in a perfect position for what I want to see in Mario Maker. Now, another boss that I kept thinking about would be absolutely insane to see in Mario Maker, especially since of the huge fan reception of this guy, and yes, I'm talking about Fury Bowser. Imagine being able to place a giant Fury Bowser in the background as he shoots giant laser fire at you and just all types of things from the sky and drops it on top of the stage and it can also like, kind of rush the stage and hit it and just do all kinds of things from the background. That would be super cool, and I think people would love to have stuff like that. And imagine you could just pick up pillars as Giga Cat Mario and throw it into the background to hit them. I mean, this, this is so much potential for this. Now this next category and last category of bosses I had for the background bosses is really just anonymous. Like these are just ideas that I've seen throughout the different franchises and I thought would be pretty cool as background bosses. Of course, one of them being Mega Hammer from Super Mario Galaxy 2. I always love this boss and it's one of my favorites from the Mario franchise as you know, first of all, it's not a three-hit KO, but it's this giant robot built and made and kind of used by Bowser Jr. himself, and he's shooting rockets out at Mario and trying to hit him with the hammers, and Mario has to fly to different sides of the body to break it, and that'd be really cool if you had to do that within, obviously, Mario Maker. Now, you wouldn't be able to get behind him, really, or anything like that. You would have to keep moving left and right and dodging the hammer swings and trying to shoot different parts of his body with your cannonballs or bullet bills or whatever you're shooting at. For instance, maybe you can even use Yoshi and eat the bullet bills and spit them back out in the background, like you can in Mario Galaxy 2. That'd be really cool. What? Mario Sunshine's on this list? My favorite game ever you know, who would have guessed but yes mecha bowser again not from yoshi safari this time but from super mario sunshine yeah we probably won't have a roller coaster in mario maker 2 or mario maker 3 or any mario maker ever but what would be really cool is to just have bowser in the background with this giant robot kind of just spitting out bullet bills and fire and you just got to kind of shoot it and break it apart slowly now, you can pretty much make your own roller coaster if you think about it using snake blocks moving back and forth, and you can just grab certain things or use your abilities to shoot, you know, cannonballs, bullet bills, whatever you want to back at it. To be completely honest with you, any of these would really work as a background boss. There's a lot of bosses that are in the regular foreground with Mario that would work as background bosses. I mean, P. Piranha flying around the background in the foreground and then eventually landing on the stage. You could got Gooper Blooper, which, you, you know, he will throw tentacles at you from the background and you'll have to grab them and pull them. You know, there's just so many options and so much potential for any type of enemy or boss to actually be that background boss. But Nintendo would just need to open up a section in an area in the background or the foreground allowing us to use Use that. And once again, it just comes down to what Nintendo will allow us to do. Now, a lot of people were thinking that Mario Maker 3 would almost have to be, you know, a 3D maker, right? Because what else would they do with 2D? We have pretty much everything that we could want, even a world maker now. And the more I think about it, well, there's still some things to do in 2D. There's still a lot of enemies and a lot of, you know, obstacles and objects you can add. And the fact that you can even make it almost a 2.5D Mario Maker and have foreground slash background usage as well. I think there's actually a lot of stuff they could still touch on before jumping into the whole 3D Mario Mario Maker space, and I'm excited to see what's to come. And of course, I do want to kind of touch on this foreground background a lot more in a future video, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario Maker and all things Nintendo in general. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys want to join the memberships, it's super simple, it's super cheap, and you can do so by just clicking that join button. But also, just feel free to subscribe and like the video. It helps out a lot, and let's see how many people we can get to subscribe to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.